Okay, so um, I know we're approaching the end of the six weeks and arts and all of those things. So I um, hope y'all are having a great year back. Um, I definitely am so far. Hopefully nothing too wild happens. So, but so far so good, right? And so I was just going to show y'all how to save some time by quickly emailing documents without saving them. You can actually send them right from the system. You would think that um, our office would know about this because we've been using eSped for years. Some of us longer than others. I'm not saying that I've used it a long time or anything. I'm saying like some people have used it and they didn't know. So I was just going to show y'all and it's way easier to show than to just tell because it's a, it's, it's a weird location, I think. And it's not obvious because it's right there in front of you. And I literally never noticed it before because there's so much. Anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to sign in and... It's so slow sometimes. Okay, um, get a special ed art forms. And let's say we just had an art on a student, and you're, you know, you need to send out. We updated um, accommodations, and you need to send those out to their teachers. This is literally the fastest way that I can find to do it. So let's say if we just had the art. Um, we did it in the draft. I, I mean, I must be slow rolling on this one. I haven't archived. I haven't made it active. So, I mean, if you want to email me and say, Stringfellow, you need to get on the ball and make that active, you can. But if there's, if we just had an R and it's in draft, you would just go to draft and do it. Okay, so, choo -choo -choo. Um, we're reviewing it for compliance because we're going to be providing this information to the teachers. So the first thing you're going to do is you go in, we're in the right student, and remember if there's an active, if the active is the current plan, you email from active. If we just had the ARD like today and the draft's still open for whatever reason, then you would just go to the draft to do it. But most of the time you will be an active. So you're going to go here and then print and archive and remember we're we're, we changed accommodations, so that's what we need to get to our teachers. So let me find it. So, okay, so I'm about to get on a soapbox, but why is the accommodations right here? It's like all these P's and then accommodations. Like. <sighs> Okay, so you go there, and then it says mail the document. I don't know why I thought that <laughs> that had to do with, like, USPS, but it doesn't. Mail the document. Okay, so it has here, you can enter a password, and then you have to enter it here, and then tell the teachers. I mean, that's going to be a lot of trouble, so I would just say leave that blank because this system is going to um, mail it like it's like we're trusting them with our security so I don't think that that is a cause for concern more cause for concern if you know whoever receives it is not using the information correctly which we don't have to worry about because we all have teachers who are rock stars and never have any issues with that so it's fine okay so it automatically it emails to you so you have two options you can email it to yourself and then just forward it out or you can just leave it the two and then cc your people so best practice right here is to always include an administrator that way if it ever you know, the administrator knows that you sent that out because, you know, you're responsible for making sure that they receive those records. So when they receive that, they know that you sent it out and they have record of who sent it. That way no one can ever say they didn't do it. You, you, you know, just have that routine going. So let's say um, for this one, I'm just going to use like a fake principal. So we do our fake principal at Dangerfield and then comma and then i'm going to say i'm going to email it to myself do not enter spaces either because um 
you just enter a comma between them. And then we're going to do our, even though I keep putting spaces, it just deletes them. And then we're going to do fake counselor. Okay, so once you do that, you just print the copy. And when you do that, you can, um, don't arc, remember, don't archive it. But when we pr say print final copy, it does this. I'm hoping that email pops up that I got it. But it opens. Okay, so when you've done that, it should have sent out. And there you go. There it is. There's my report. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull it open. Okay, so there you go. And they have it. I mean, it's instant. And um, it has a confidentiality statement on there. It has, um, it has a, what is that called? A virus statement. It has, it just kind of tells what it is, but look, you can see who it was sent to. So it was sent to all of us. It was CC to that principal, to that counselor, to the teacher. I mean, this could be life changing for y'all, I hope. But anyways, I just thought that was cool and could save y'all some time. So if not, uh, there's my other copy because I sent it to myself twice. But um, I was excited about it. Um, y'all may think, gosh, she's so behind the times and that's fine. Just, just roll your eyes and move on. <laughs> so anyways, um, once again, if you have any questions, just call, text, email me, whatever you need to do. Thanks.